Here is my special Blighted Expedition speedrun guide for those interlopers who live a busy life or just want to get it done for the rewards as fast as possible. With this step-by-step -step guide you can complete the Blighted Expedition in less than 2 hours fairly easily. So let's initialize. After initializing you'll want to first mine up to 1000 carbon, you'll want at least 400, then use a small amount to craft a carbon nanotube then fix your analysis visor. Next locate the general direction of your ship and work out the closest copper and uranium deposits along that path. This is RNG so just do the most efficient you can see. If none in that direction I would probably make my way to the ship and look again from there. On the way to the first deposit you'll want to craft the terrain manipulator so be sure to collect at least 40 dihydrogen though you'll want 80 total by the time you reach your ship. Also keep an eye out for any green trays and take the rusted metal from them. You can refine a little carbon to condensed in your personal refiner, use 30 of it to make a hermetic seal and the rest for fuel. Just be sure to make another nanotube so you don't run out of carbon. Then as you are walking have the rusted metal refining to ferrite dust. Alternative course just pulverize rocks. Use 50 of the dust and refine it to pure ferrite. Also refine all of the copper you get into chromatic metal. You will need an absolute minimum of 63 to fix your hyperdrive, but more is great to pair with dust and condensed carbon for warp cells later. Head to your ship, completing the compass. Then fix your ship, completing clipped wings. Take off, head into space and make your way towards space station. Don't fly into the station just yet, first fly down and land on the planet closest to it, New Edmund. As you enter the atmosphere you likely won't see player bases due to an apparent block at the beginning, but you should see communication stations. Fly to one or two of them, you'll likely find a sentinel pillar pretty quickly doing that, so land at the pillar, find some gravitino balls nearby and pick them, then head to the pillar and deactivate the sentinels. This will kill some extra sentinels that came after you by picking up the balls and knock a few more off the milestone for later. While you're there take a look at the MT on offer, you won't need to buy it, just look at it to complete counterfire. Then find more gravitino balls and pick up a bunch to complete coveted suns. It would be best not to claim the rewards from both counterfire and coveted suns right away. You don't need it yet and it will take up inventory space. I'd recommend picking up as many gravitino balls as you can without going too far. They'll give you some great starting units, at least 20 or more. Also if you see some pyrite nearby, it would be great to just grab that deposit for pulse fuel. You pretty much won't have to worry about launch and pulse fuel with the uranium and pyrite. Fly to the station and sell the gravitino balls. While there, buy 3 microprocessors, 8 wiring looms, 5 metal plating, 50 chlorine and some uranium if you didn't get any on the starting planet. You'll want a good 2 to 300 or so, it is quite cheap. Also go to the second galactic trade terminal on the station located in the back room on the vendor side and buy one solar mirror. Personally, I would sell the X-Class Movement Upgrade and Launch Thruster Upgrade you were rewarded for the few nanites, as they are valuable at the start and you don't need upgrades to complete most of this expedition. Also be sure to grab an exosuit slot while there. Fix your hyperdrive, add one warp cell and enter the galactic map. The automatic pathing will direct you to a system about a third of the way toward Rendezvous 1. Don't go to this, instead look just above it for a yellow star system called Ilskomu. Head there. On entry you'll be greeted with a freighter battle. Destroy all of the attacking pirates and save the day completing liberation. A little tip for fighting the pirate ships, your starting ship has a photon cannon and rocket launcher. This is easily enough, just shoot the enemy's shields down with the photon cannon, then just as the shields break, keep holding fire down and switch to rockets to one shot them. After destroying the pirates you'll also trigger Lawless Sky. Enter the freighter and talk to the captain to get your first map fragment and an offer to take control of his freighter. As far as I can tell from trying myself, this first one is the only free freighter you'll be offered, so just accept it. If you are going to keep this save and you love the design of the freighter, you could fly into the station before you battle to auto save then go out and kill, reload, kill, reload until it spawns an S-Class. Also if you have a problem where you accidentally blow up one of the freighter cargo pods, after defeating the pirates fly into the station to calm everything down, then fly back out and you should be able to enter the freighter. Now called the space anomaly we need a few things, go to the researchers in the back and on the way go past Ares, pick up nanites for the milestones you have completed so far, purchase the cadmium drive and emerald drive, finally indium drive. Also while you are there get an exosuit slot. Now is the perfect time to make use of your previous expedition or twitch rewards, if you have any. 
Though don't worry, this guide assumes you don't, so you'll be fine either way. If you have them, grab a nice ship and multi tool from there. Use the cadmium you got from Liberation with some of your wiring looms to craft the emerald drive in your ship. Leave the anomaly and head to the station. Here you can just get another exosuit slot, use your storage augment on your ship for some extra slots, and even claim both the coveted suns and counterfire milestones to use the multi-tool expansion slots on your MT, as well as install the scatter blaster and the X-class upgrades you've got for it. Next you'll want to activate a freighter blighted milestone. Doing so will give you a waypoint. To avoid target sweep, just look for a nearby crashed freighter. Land and interact with the black box, then access a single buried or enclosed cargo pod to complete a freighter blighted. Next on the ocean planet in that system, head to a large ocean area and land on a small island. Refine the 50 chlorine to 100 salt and jump into the ocean to find 3 underwater vents and take at least 7 sulphide crystals from them. You can now build the Nautilin chamber, do so completing submerged. In the Nautilin, build the signal tech, then use the tech to find submerged ruins. Then get back in your ship unless it's very close and fly to it. Somewhere along the way you will complete leagues under the sea. If not, just swim to the deepest part you see en route, once claimed, utilise the A or B class underwater upgrade, S is overkill for this short excursion, and the nanites are handy. Once at the ruin, interact with it to get your key, and then dig out a chest and use the key as well as a living pearl from Submerge Reward to open it and complete Sunken Antiquities. Now activate the milestone, the last piece, to get a waypoint and fly there, then swim to it. Interacting with the black box will complete the last piece, the nano reward from this is substantial, you're now sorted for them. Head back into space and call your freighter. Head to the bridge and interact with the frigate and squad control panel, then unlock the first squadron slot. You can now interact with any ship you see outside of a pirate controlled space station and ask them to join your squadron, completing enlistment. Now whack your other two warp cells in your hyperdrive and warp to the next system, which is a green system, very close and in the direction of the Rendezvous 1 system. When looking towards the R1 system, Azansk Roish can be found just a little lower than your current system between the two. After you've arrived, Emerald Dreams will complete. Now head into Space Station and go for the Ship Upgrade Vendor. He sells S-Class Hyperdrives. Depending how you feel, you can just grab one or save and reload to refresh the vendor and get three. You will have other opportunities, so just getting one will work fine. Install however many of the Hyperdrive upgrades you obtained. Before leaving this system, head to the closest planet and locate some emerald. You need 250 in order to construct the indium drive, so gather your emerald, then build the indium drive. Now open up the galactic map and warp to Rendezvous 1. On arrival, head into the station and buy another hyperdrive upgrade if you only bought one in the last. You can also obtain photon cannon upgrades here too if you are feeling like you'd like a little more power on your ship weapon. Now activate the Rendezvous 1 milestone to get the waypoint and head there. To help avoid target sweep you are looking for a trading post. On landing you will complete Rendezvous 1. Before leaving you will want to craft around 7 warp cells. Do this before leaving the planet so you don't find yourself needing ferrite dust, condensed carbon or chromatic metal in space. Of course be sure to use the remaining cadmium and emerald for the chromatic metal. Now fuel up and warp directly to Rendezvous 2. As you enter head into the station and pick up the pirate mission. Complete this to get some extra pirate kills, then do the usual, activate the milestone, fly to the waypoint. This time you're looking for a grave. Land and get out, then head back into space. The Rendezvous 3 system is a fair distance away, so this time find a random red system to make up some distance toward it. And then the same with the blue system before moving on to Rendezvous 3. This will complete red skies for the red system, and blue expanse when visiting the blue system. Once at Rendezvous 3, activate the milestone, head to the waypoint, find the ruins, land and get the complete full Rendezvous 3. As you may have guessed, next we are heading directly for Rendezvous 4, so warp there. Once at Rendezvous 4, you may wish to enter the station for this one, just so you have a teleport link. But after, activate the milestone, head to the waypoint, search for the archive this time, land and walk into it until you get the Rendezvous 4 complete. You can now go into your inventory and craft the pirate map out of the three map fragments. Use the map in your inventory. Ensure the milestone treasure hunt is active and head to the waypoint. To save sweeping, look for the portal. Now interact with the DHD, do all of that jazz, then enter the portal. Upon exiting the portal, it will trigger Rendezvous 5. 
Now continue following the waypoint until you find a ruin. Dig up three keys and then access the main chest to complete treasure hunt. Home stretch now folks, just four more to go. Head into space and ensure your hyperdrive is 100% fully fueled. Enter the galactic map, ensure that you do not click to free fly in the map, and stay in the default navigation mode within the map screen. Turn the destination pathing to galactic core if it isn't already. Now move your mouse or thumbstick to face toward the open starless area toward the galactic core, and while holding the thumbstick or mouse in that direction, hold down left click or mouse or whatever button you use on controller to walk to a new system and keep holding it. It should take a second, then put you over on the galactic core. Keep holding and it will then start the galaxy jump. Sit back and enjoy it. This has completed intergalactic. Now on this other side, normally you would suffer great damage to all of your technology, but this expedition protects you. So head towards your ship, and if you see a spot on the way with no base, put a base computer down, you will have gained the blueprint from intergalactic. If not on the way, then fly about a little until you find an open spot to build a base. Claim it and build 11 wooden walls to complete breadcrumbs. There are now two milestones left. Both are kill a number of something milestones. One for pirates and one for sentinels. You will have made progress on them both. First let's do the sentinels. This only counts for land sentinels, so sentinel drone ships are pointless kills. Go to a planet in the system that isn't extreme sentinel, but is high security for best results. Extreme Sentinel is when it will say something in red lettering about Sentinels when scanned from space. High security will just be like Amber. Get the attention of a Sentinel and use your Scatter Blaster on it. You'll want some ammunition for this of course. When the first wave comes, destroy all but the Summoner and the Healers, so don't kill the pyramid looking ones or the tiny drones. Let the Summoner summon two drones every 10 or so seconds and just destroy them as they spawn. Keep the milestone active so you can see when it is complete as it won't show you while you're in combat. This will complete boundary failure. Lastly, head into space and call the anomaly. Go to the teleporter and travel back to the Ilskomu system. Once in the pirate station, talk to the mission giver and just do missions to kill pirates until you have completed Galactic Defender. And that is it, you completed the sixth expedition, the blighted expedition for the Outlaws update and you likely did it extremely quickly. I do hope you found this guide helpful, I'll see if I can release a full walkthrough of me following this guide perfectly in case you wanted a different perspective on the guide. If you did enjoy the guide I would super appreciate a like and maybe even some kind of comment related to the video so YouTube extra knows that you enjoyed it. Have an amazing day folks.